Welcome back to the Exago video training series. This segment will focus on dashboards, an interactive way to display reports, visualizations, and more all on the same page. We'll begin by hitting the new report icon and selecting dashboard. This opens our dashboard canvas and we'll begin by dragging a new tile onto the dashboard. Our fit options will dictate how much of our dashboard the tile takes up when the dashboard is executed. Once the tile is on the canvas, we can manually resize the tile as well. This new tile can populate with a new visualization that we build on the fly, a web page via a URL, an image, a static text box, an interactive filter, or a pre-existing report. For this dashboard, we'd like to display various employee revenue totals as well as a count of their respective orders. We'd also like to be able to filter which specific employee's information is displayed. We have an existing report that shows revenue per employee in a chart, so I'll select existing report on the new tile here and then drag the desired report from the actual report tree on the left-hand side. In the top right, we'll see we can delete or duplicate a tile, or expand the tile to encompass the entire dashboard. We can also refresh the report manually and even directly open the report designer if we'd like to modify the underlying report structure. We're now displaying employee revenue totals, but we'd also like to see an order count for each employee as well. As this isn't a report we've previously created, we can now add a new visualization to build this chart out on the fly. We'll see we're prompted to add values and labels to this visualization, and we can do so by selecting fields from the data fields pane on the left-hand side. We can click through to find the fields we want, or use our search bar. When searching, we also have the ability to filter our results to show only text, numeric, date time, or other fields. We'll first add the employee last name field as a label. Next, we'll add order ID as a value to count. We can switch to a tabular view using the icon on the bottom right. And if we'd like to use a different type of aggregation, we can set that on a field-by-field -field basis here. Clicking back to our chart display, we can modify how the visualization appears in our style menu. And modify the actual data being displayed as needed in the data menu. Finally, let's resize the visualization so it fits nice next to our first tile. Our employee revenue report and our order count visualization are completed, but we still need to add an interactive filter so we can modify which employee's information is displayed. On the dashboard output, we have two options for filters. We can choose to display an interactive filter directly on the canvas, or a docked filter that can be opened or closed. Dragging over a new tile will create a filter to be displayed on the canvas. However, I think I prefer to just display my charts on the output, so in this case, we can add a docked filter instead. Next, I'll select the field to filter on, in this case, the employee last name. I'll set my operator to be is one of, so we can select multiple employees. 
Next, we can specify which reports or visualizations we'd like the filter to control. For this dashboard, we'll select both the employee revenue chart and our visualization of employee order counts. We can also set default values for the filter here if we'd like. At this point, we can save our dashboard by hitting the save icon and giving it a name a folder to live in, and an optional description. Once the dashboard is saved, we can hit Run Dashboard to execute. We can now see both our visualization and chart, along with our docked multi-select filter. We can modify which employees we're showing information for, and our charts will automatically update to reflect the newly selected values. We can manually refresh either of our charts or export them to any of Exago's available export types. We even have the ability to drill into the detail of any visualization simply by clicking a specific series. This concludes our segment on dashboards. Be sure to check out some of our earlier segments if you haven't already, and as always, happy reporting.